and this was how our cycle looks like. <coughs> so we start by preheating the water to boiling point, we boil the water. And here we increase the pressure. What we do is we mix, say it, and then after that we pump it to the full and. We need to bring the bottom of heat input is going to be average higher because the coldest part of the heat input is now happening in the boiler. So we are not so only the boiler is the place where heat But with the what happens here? Basically, two hundred kilo extraction pressure that. So here we have zoomed in to the two pumps because, as we remember, the it looks like what is in. Uh, saturated liquid. But here we can see that first we pump in the condensate pump just to the 200 kilopascals pressure. Then here on the same 200 kilopascal line, we extract steam from the turbine that has not yet fully expanded. And these two lines converge into the point, which is the tank or this component more. No, that in the D area, So what comes out from the feed water tank is saturated liquid, and then we pump is here five minutes. So basically, as we explained in the beginning, this gray bit here, we are now preheating the main con with the extraction steam. Easing. So obviously the heat removal temperature doesn't change anywhere because our
traction steam, which is the hot fluid, from the feed water, which is the liquid phase. We're going to take a few looks at the, how this really looks today. Now enough to know that YouTube shall and you've got sub cool. So this means that after all of the steam has condensed. Cool it down and to heat the feed water. And what we do with the in the following lecture, but for now, the most common way is to send it to either the feed water tank or to so. Here we remember that because we take the steam from higher pressure than we are here, and this pressure here is about the same as the pressure in the feed water tank. So basically, at this smaller pressure than the pressure of this steam and condensate coming out is going to. Whereas a feed heater somewhere in here between the feed water tank Bringing in more good stuff. Different thing. We might have two separate. You know, or whether we take the extra. Okay, how it will be. We have. From high pressure turbine to a low pressure. We call it low pressure feed heater even in this because it is designed for so at the phase two, and uh, we will see a difference in the construction. Okay, one final slide. When So that could happen if we have a situation we preheat the feed water, which have a whole bunch of uh, hypersome feed heat, for example. We preheat the feed water. Not being able to cool down the boiler flue gas, so we always have a boiler furnace, then we have what is called the nose superheaters. Then this is what we call the economizer. So this is basically a feed water flue gas heater. And here we heat the water almost to the boiling point. Here we have drum and the downcomer water comes down and 
All right. Boy. That means that we might not be able to use this really hot water to cool down the flue gas as much as we otherwise. As hot flue gas to the skies. Efficiency is not going to be. We will talk about more to understand that and that sometimes 